Hello and welcome to another update video about Bitcoin. So with Bitcoin, um, we've got a bit of a different uh, development here. If we compare that, for example, to um, the Ethereum chart, yeah, it's it's slightly different. And I, I need to point out these um, slight differences because it's quite important to understand the context. So if you've watched a bit the Ethereum video, Ethereum has not maxed out its green support area. Bitcoin, however, has. So first of all, what I would like to do, I would like to move the wave two here. It doesn't really make a difference, but I have looked at the chart again. I consider this an A, B, C correction. It doesn't make a difference at all because this is a pretty flat support level. So it doesn't change anything with regards to supports. However, what I would like to do, because Bitcoin has maxed out the support, ETH hasn't, and I believe ETH still has a bit of a way to go to come down, um, the only way that Bitcoin, that I can understand or view Bitcoin's correction actually as complete, and I would need to do that because otherwise um, there's a big risk it will actually break the count, which obviously could happen, right? But I'm rather watching if the high here was not a wave three, okay, but this was the wave three, and then we already had an ABC correction done. So I'm watching that at the moment. If we had here maybe this kind of um, expanded flat correction, A wave down, B wave up, C wave down, with that count, Bitcoin would already be finished in its correction. Now, to maintain that view, Bitcoin must go up now and must not drop below the 17,130 level again. Now, we did get into the target area and you can see how relevant it was, yeah? This is the area that's relevant for a wave four support um, based on the wave three high. Now, actually I would need to move it slightly, yeah, because the way I've got it um, now, it's actually related to, it's related to um, this swing high. So that would take us down to 17,150 to 17,275 for Bitcoin to complete its correction. If I put it onto this wave three high here, then we're actually talking about then Bitcoin could still come a bit lower, to be honest. Um, if we did it, that would fit, for example, Ethereum's count also better and ADA's count. Um, so we are watching if this C wave is complete, maybe one more leg down or maybe, yeah, maybe one more leg down. So I'm revising my support area here. Bitcoin in the current count with this count, yeah, in the current scenario, it could still come down to 17.1k to the 15 uh, to the 50% uh, retracement and still maintain a wave four. At the moment, I'm unsure if this C wave is over. It should really be with the strength of it. But again, the move up is currently looking corrective. Now, what could of course happen is that this is some kind of a leading diagonal, wave one and then a two, and then we move out of this, yeah. So we are observing this at the moment. Um, my view, <clears throat> my view is the first signal, if we, let's say, don't make a new low, the first signal that we are now going up would be a break above the 17,340 level, which is the 78.6% retracement of the move down. That is always the first, basically one of the first clear signals that such a move down is over. Then I think we could reach the wave five. Um, other than that, yeah, we would need to wait for a breakout above the high. And let's see if we get it. Um, at the moment, it's rather unclear. Um, looking at Ethereum and ADA, I'm rather thinking one more leg down is coming. But again, if we break above that level, then we have a good indication that the move up has started. The move up currently looks rather corrective, to be honest. Um, we can also try to add a price channel. Don't know how that looks here with... Um, don't know how that looks with Bitcoin. If I connect here waves two and four, I mean, we are currently finding support at this channel. So let's see if it adheres to that broadly. Um, one more thing to mention here is what is the target for the fifth wave? Now, the best view I have of this is if I take the length of the wave one and then I add it to the low of the fourth wave. Now that we have a possible low, not entirely confirmed yet, but a possible low. And the best view I have is the 17,490 level. That's the one to one ratio. 
Again, it could also go up a bit higher, maybe to the 1.618, but I would say that's the absolute maximum it should do in this fifth wave if the wave count is correct. But I'd rather be targeting here 17,490 to start with and seeing what it does then. Okay, if something exciting happens, you know that I will keep you updated. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.